Hello guys, so we have this question under temperature. Let's see how we can break it down. Aluminium has a melting temperature of 663 degrees Celsius, latent heat of fusion of um, 3.97 times 10 to the power 5 joules per kg and a specific heat of 900. How much heat is needed to melt a 15 gram or rather kilogram of aluminium that was initially at 27 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this is how we can do it now. Let's see what we've been given. So the latent heat, we've been given 3.97 times 10 to the power 5 joules per kg. The specific heat, C, we've been given 900 joules kg like that so the specific heat um, we've been given that what else do we have we have the mass which is 15 kg we also have the initial temperature so t initial is 27 degrees Celsius and lastly we have the final temperature remember that's the that's the melting point so which is 660 degrees celsius okay so what we're looking for is the energy it's important to note that the energy if you want to calculate uh, the heat energy in terms of uh, specific heat capacity the formula is given by mass times specific heat capacity times the change in temperature you want to calculate heat energy in terms of uh, the latent heat, then the energy will be given by mass times latent heat. So these are the two uh, formulas we're going to use. And since we're looking for the, what's this? How much heat is needed to melt that particular object which has a specific heat and latent heat? We're going to combine the two. We're going to say energy will be equals to the energy. In terms of um, specific heat capacity plus the energy in terms of the latent heat so energy q is equals to um, in terms of specific heat capacity we have mc change in temperature in terms of latent heat we have mass times the latent heat so heat energy will be equals to let's factor out mass mass is common let's factor it out what do we mean with here C change in temperature plus L like that. Then from there we can simply say energy is equals to mass C. Remember change in temperature is T final final temperature minus the initial temperature plus the latent heat. Let's do the substitutions now. So mass we've been given what is our mass 15. Specific heat capacity, we've been given 900. Change in temperature. Temperature final is 660 minus temperature initial 27. Plus the specific, sorry, the latent heat, which is 3.97 times 10 to the power 5, like that. So energy will be given as so 15 is still outside. If we multiply what we get here, we're going to get 500, 569,700 plus, of course, uh, this value that we have here, which is 3.97 times 10 to the power of 5. So if we decide to add up whatever is inside the brackets, Q will be 15. What we have inside the brackets is now 900,000. 600 or rather 900,066 700 like that then multiplying by the mass which is a um, 15 what do we obtain let us quickly do this multiplying those values we get 14 14 million 500,500 
then let's put it in standard form. So the energy can be written as 1.45. So how many decimals? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 places. So times 10 to the power 7. This is energy, hence uh, joules. So that's our answer. Thank you very much. In case of a question, please feel free to drop it in the comments.